put your hands up and comply to officer's demands. Let's just bring this to a peaceful end. Nobody wants to see anybody getting hurt here. Thank you. Well, in fact, my pilot, Aldo, just uh, let me know right now. He was able to get some of the information uh, from the uh, uh, helicopter. Uh, that's a windshield wiper blade. So uh, it may not seem like a weapon right now, but officers do not want to approach this individual who's extremely irate. So most likely in this situation, if he does not comply, uh, they will use non-lethal force. But the last thing this individual wants is for a canine dog to be deployed on him as of right now. But it appears to be a windshield wiper blade. Right, and you can see how patient those officers are giving the commands, telling the subject to drop the weapon. They don't want to use any ne unnecessary force, but uh, unfortunately this guy is going to determine what's going to happen. Uh, he is in charge of uh, what's going to happen as far as how are they going to handle this situation. He's agitated. He's not complying. You can see he has that windshield wiper blade in his hand. That's what units are telling us it is. Uh, he seems agitated there, not wearing any shoes, possible stolen vehicle where this pursuit started out of the Morongo Valley area. Officers are using extreme patience and willingness to try to negotiate with this subject to get him to comply to their commands. But as of right now, we have a full freeway closure, 215 both directions near the Palm exit where all lanes are closed until they can bring this to a peaceful ending. Well, uh, they do have a CHP units back there. Uh, you can see those units. I don't want to lose the center of the screen in case if something happens. Uh, they are telling officers uh, they're taking precaution right now. Watch your crossfire. They want to make sure no officers are in the crossfire. But uh, you've got those two units up to the top of your screen blocking traffic. So he really can't run to the north because he's going to run into some officers. Uh, if he decides to try to run off of the freeway down that hill, uh, there's officers waiting for him on, uh, I don't know if that's Palm Avenue, but I know we're in the vicinity. Uh, that looks like to be the CHP helicopter. They are above giving visual reference and bringing information, vital information down to the ground units. And then we have those three officers. These are the primary officers, the canine unit, uh, just there waiting for the command as to far as what the handler is going to have that dog do. Right now, they are wanting this subject to comply, get on your knees, drop that weapon. That's the number one thing they want him to do is to drop the weapon. You can see officers on the right side of your screen along the 215. They're trying to get some of the cars out of this area. They want to eliminate uh, too many people in this uh, area, so uh, they're going to get some of these cars out of here as soon as possible. We did see some media individuals on the ground but they have since been relocated uh, to a safer area. So it's a tense standoff here. Pursuit lasted well over an hour. The uh, individual just pulled over along the 215 north of University near the Palm exit, came out of the vehicle very aggressively. As you can see his body language, he's arguing with officers, not complying with any of their commands. Right, and most likely they're giving him the ultimatum. You need to comply. This is over with. Otherwise, uh, unfortunately, most likely we'll see uh, some type of non-lethal force uh, 
But what I meant most likely unlikely is that dog. If they send that canine um, on this individual, that canine is trained to apprehend a suspect and bring that subject down so officers can get control of the individual. We hope not to see that uh, those uh, dog bites are nothing you want to deal with. And this officer right here looks like he has a, uh, he may have a beanbag or something of that nature. It looks like uh, that's what he has. Uh, so they may be uh, trying to bring this to a conclusion here and they may engage in some non-lethal force to get the subject to comply. But right now you can see he's still very aggravated as he's yelling at officers pointing that windshield wiper. Right there, right there. You can see he's going to, they're, they're, they're making their aggressive attack on him, pulling out here little. He's, uh, as they try to uh, get this suspect to um, uh, comply, I think they were using some non-lethal force. He's threatening to jump. Uh, it's not a long jump right there. You can see there's an incline there, uh, but officers along that street, along uh, that street right there below are waiting. Uh, we are pulling out here. We don't want to show anything too sensitive, but you can see as they start, bringing this situation to a close. This individual now is threatening to jump off that overpass, and we can't speculate how far the drop is, uh, but they want to bring it to a peaceful close. And you can see them starting to approach him from all angles, and we have the, that street below is blocked. So if he decides to jump, uh, if he is injured, there we go, making contact. That officer snuck up on him, made contact. That was a great, great move. While he, he, they diverted his attention, the other officer snuck up behind him and was able to tackle him and bring him back down. So you can see, I got to get my hats off to uh, uh, CHP, and I believe those are the sheriffs down there. They, they, they did a great situation. Uh, they know everybody's going to critique them following this incident, and I got to tell you, these guys did a great job bringing this individual into custody and doing a great job. Nobody got hurt.